guys, so today I am going to be doing the Recreating Teenage Me video. I have seen Hannah Anderson and Lily Melrose do it, and I'm pretty sure other people have probably done it as well. I just thought it looked really interesting and really fun to do, plus I was a really embarrassing teenager. So I figured it would be interesting to experiment and try and do my makeup now the way I did back then. I in no way claim to be a makeup expert now. But I do like to think I do it a bit better than I did because I looked at some old pictures for to, for this to just remind myself of how I did my makeup and wow it was bad, it was really bad. <laughs> so first up is foundation, primers were non-existent in my world, I didn't know what they were, I don't think anybody particularly knew what they were. Um, but like every 14, 15 year old girl I used Maybelline's Dream Matte Mousse religiously. <laughs> However, since then I made the decision to only buy cruelty-free cosmetics and unfortunately Maybelline is not one of those brands that is cruelty-free so I wasn't going to go out and buy a tub of Dream Matte Mousse just for the sake of a video because I don't want to support the company, I don't want to support the brand uh, so I'm just going to try and recreate the look of it with my current foundation that I use which is the Barry M Flawless Matte Finish I'm nearly out of this one, I do have another one but obviously I'm going to use this one up first I have this in the shade Ivory which is the same shade that I used to use Dream Matte Mousse in however Dream Matte Mousse Ivory is so orange I looked back at old photos and my face was so orange and my friend tried it at one point and even they said it was so orange like so orange whereas this matches my skin pretty well so in order to try and recreate the slight orange tone I am going to be mixing it with again Barry M's Flawless Matte Finish Foundation but in the colour beige and so I'm just going to mix these two together to hopefully get a slightly orange face how wonderful right I'm just going to brush my fringe out of the way and of course when I was younger I, I didn't use a brush, I just used my fingers. Nowadays I dot it on and then blend it out with the brush, but not then. I would just get it on my fingers and just kind of rub it on my face. Is this going, is this still really pale? It looks still kind of pale on the camera. I'm going to add a little bit more beige just to try and get it a bit more orangey because really like in pictures it looks so orange. I would basically just slap on my foundation with my hands because I didn't like brushes, I didn't think they worked well for me, little did I know it was because I was using cheap brushes. This feels so strange using my hands, I feel like I'm just putting on my makeup and then rubbing it straight off, like what even is the point? Next up is concealer, I pretty much just used to use stick concealers, like the ones that look like lipsticks, and again, they were always too orange for me, because I couldn't find my skin tone, because I never, Maybelline Dream Up Mousse was like the only kind of branded thing I used to use, everything else was just like a cheap whatever from like a random makeup shop, so I could never find my skin tone properly, um, so yeah, I'm just going to put on, I do have a concealer that's a bit too orange for me, because I bought it thinking it was going to be right, and it wasn't, so I'm just going to literally cake that on under my eyes, because that's what I used to think you did. And of course, once again, we are blending with our fingers because what are brushes? I don't know what brushes are. I feel like I'm losing all the product off my face because it's just going onto my hand. Awesome. So orange face, orange concealer. This is going well. Awesome. After concealer, I would then, of course, powder. I pretty much just would use like compact pressed powders, but I don't use those anymore. So I literally don't have one anywhere I only use like loose translucent powder so I'm gonna use that but <clears throat> I basically just used to absolutely cake on my powder I also wouldn't have used a brush like this this is the real technique to do my fiber brush I would have just used a really cheap like massive brush where the bristles were like really firm and it would have felt awful and that's what would have basically packed it on but also I have oily skin anyway and so you can then imagine oily skin plus just like teenage hormones in general um yeah but I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and press hard with this brush because that's how it would have gone on because I just did, I just smeared it all over my face basically because again I thought that's what you were meant to do I thought this was how you put powder on it's like yeah it helps your makeup stay in place and stay on all day but we'll ignore the fact that I'm just moving it around my face and myself oh I keep feeling the urge like 
stipple it on. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I don't claim to be like an amazing makeup artist or anything now, like far from it, but I think I know what I'm doing a bit better than I did. We are done with powder and so now it is on to the eyebrows. Done. <laughs> I did not fill in my eyebrows when I was younger. I didn't realise that that was a thing that you could even do. I also didn't really wear eyeshadow. I pretty much just went straight for the eyeliner. So we're going to go straight on to eyeliner. So it is important to note that when I was younger, I, well, I was not a scene kid. I was a failed scene kid. I could not do it properly. I didn't know how these like models, models, whatever, made their hair and faces do the thing that it did and I tried to emulate it and that it just didn't work. So I'm going to use the Barry M eyeliner. I definitely did not use this when I was younger because it was way too expensive, um, even though it's not to me now, working girl, but it would have not had like the firm tips the Barry M one does. It would have been like a really loose one, but basically I used to just kind of cake it on. <laughs> well, actually, that's a lie. I didn't. I used to do like a really thin line here. Well, not that thin. Oh, that would be really splodgy. Oh well, accurate. Okay, so basically I would just start with a couple of uneven black lines above my eyes. But one thing that I did a lot when I was younger is, um, well, I was obsessed with making my eyes look and appear bigger than they were. And I think I saw a video on YouTube mega early days of YouTube obviously but it was like how to do anime eyes and basically it just had really harsh white eyeliner in it and so I decided that's how I was gonna do my makeup so I used to just do really really harsh white eyeliner so I'm gonna do that and this one and also in spirit of being younger I borrowed this from my mum so basically I would just do my inner corner blending was also non-existent I would just kind of leave it and then I would underline my entire waterline in white oh my goodness this looks so harsh it's killing me and my vision is going blurred from putting eyeliner on my waterline which is not something that I do anymore oh my goodness I remember this happening to me all the time so then I would go back to my black eyeliner and I would bring that underneath my I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this looking in the viewfinder hang on let me get a small mirror Okay, so basically, I would just bring this underneath my waterline, underneath my lashes, about halfway, like this. And then, of course, last but not least, every single scene kid needs incredible wings on their eyeliner. However, I did not know how wings worked, so I basically just did slightly curved lines. It was awful, I swear, I'm doing this based on like pictures that I've seen, so bad. So I basically just used to follow the line from my bottom, from where I drew that bottom line, and I just kind of draw a line going up from that, and that was pretty much it. <laughs> Do the same on the other eye. And lastly for the eyes, it is mascara. I now use the Benefit Better Than Sex mascara. I'm not going to be using that today because it's way too good and it is nothing like the mascaras I would have used when I was younger. I am going to be using the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast and I don't wanna say it's a bad mascara, but it's just a very wet mascara, which is very much like I would have used back in the day and I'm not going to curl my eyelashes because I didn't do that either. So, yep, yeah, just going to pack on this mascara. Absolutely pack it on. I didn't, right, I always wanted to wear, like, absolutely loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of mascara. But I didn't really understand the idea of, like, like first and second coats or anything like that with it. So I used to just try and pack on as much as I could in the first thing. Like, I didn't understand if you, you let it dry and then put more on, you know, more goes on, but whatever. Just want my eyelashes to be, like, as black as possible, but I was one of those people who'd be like, if you have spider lashes, you're disgusting, but, like, I had spider lashes all the time. A bit on the bottom lashes, because I did do that too. I kept, I was always so confused with mascara on bottom lashes, because I remember I used to read, like, so many teen magazines, 
and like one issue they'd be saying apply it to your bottom lashes it makes your eyes look bigger and the next thing I would read would be like don't apply it to your bottom lashes they're too fine it'll make them all fall out and I was like oh my gosh what am I supposed to do I have no idea so that is it for the eyes I don't know about you but I think I might start rocking this all the time now looks fantastic obviously sarcasm now from this point there isn't actually much left to do on my face because I never used to try. I didn't know half of the stuff that you could do to your face, so I just didn't do it. Um, but next up is blusher. That is one thing I definitely wore a lot of was blusher. <laughs> Again, I would probably just use like a really thick, coarse brush with hard bristles, not my super nice Real Techniques one that I have now, but I don't have any other blush brushes, so we're just going to go with that and I'm using my Get Up and Glow Barry M palette. Because when I was younger, I had my mum teaching me how to do makeup, and she is from the 80s, so I used to apply blush right on the apples of my cheeks, just right, right here, right here, not like up here, like right here. I did used to sweep it up to there, but it would be right in the, right in the apples. You know, my mum always used to teach me like, smile, and that will show you where to put your blusher, and you know, that's not where I put my blusher anymore. Okay, I've definitely done this a little bit too harsh, I got a bit carried away, um, so I'm just going to kind of blend it out with my powder brush. Okay, that'll do. And finally, for the makeup, is the lips. I wasn't one of these girls who put foundation on their lips. I never liked to rock that look. A lot of people did. I was not one of them. I always liked my lips to be my natural colour or a little bit darker. I used to pretty much just wear clear or pink lip gloss. I was just a massive lip gloss fan. So, very very true to what I did when I was younger, I am going to be putting on this. It is a clear lip gloss and I'm pretty sure it, yeah, it's, oh my gosh, it's been used, it's got like a pink stained top, but it's just like a rolly, just a roller thing. This is something that I would have borrowed from my mum when I was younger, without a doubt. I'm pretty sure I remember borrowing this exact one. That probably means this is out of date and I shouldn't be using it, but I'm going to anyway because I'm not exactly going to be wearing it for long. Uh, so yeah, I just roll this on my lips. I didn't mind if it was like stained or anything. My mum seems to often stain. She'd put her gloss over her lipstick. Um, because it would just give me a little bit of colour without actually having to wear the lipstick, which I liked. And when I say I'd pack this on, I mean I'd like pack this on. Like seriously, I would wear so much of it that my lips were so shiny. So this is about it for the makeup. Like I said, failed scene kid. I haven't got that black all over my eyes or anything like that because I didn't really know how it worked. The closest thing I came to that was I found this old picture of me where I basically just taken eyeliner and I drew like a massive triangle up here and then down onto my entire eyelid. It was horrific. Absolutely horrific. But, but, we are not finished yet. No, to complete this look we need to do my hair. The hair that I used to do when I was about 14. Now if you knew me when I was 14, you know what's coming. Okay, so as I said, failed scene kid didn't really know how to make the things that they did work. One of these things included the side fringe. Now I still have a side fringe because I think it suits me. Personally, I like it. But when I was around that age and everyone started getting side fringes and it was all like choppy and like poof, over their heads and stuff, I didn't really know how it worked. I remember getting my auntie asking her to cut me a side fringe and it just it didn't work because I didn't realise that it was all in the styling of the hair. I thought people just woke up and their hair was like poof, across their face and poofy and just did the thing. I didn't realise that you had to like blow dry it and hairspray it and style it so that it would look like that. So I thought that my auntie just couldn't cut a side fringe. Side note, my auntie is my hairdresser because she is a hairdresser. I didn't just get my auntie to cut my hair, although that's fine if you do that, but my auntie is a hairdresser. Um, but I, just, yeah, I just thought that she didn't really know how to do a side fringe properly, which is stupid. But yeah, that's what I thought. So I decided, I decided I would take it upon myself to try and make my hair look like it was in the big, thick side fringe that I wanted. Basically, I had a comb over. <laughs> 
so I would just oh my gosh this is gonna be so terrible I haven't done this in so long oh I can't believe I even tried this I think I tried it because I saw it on another girl but she literally took her hair from probably about where my parting is now and just like clipped it slightly with a bobby pin like it wasn't like as bad as mine was mine started off like that but then I decided it wasn't enough and I just started taking more and more and more hair so basically I would just kind of brush it all down I don't know how well this is going to work given that I actually have a side fringe um I can't see um <laughs> so I basically just take my hair from a back there might have even been further than that yeah probably more like this like literally all the way from back here back here and I would just slick it across my face like that and I would then secure it in place I used to use snap clips so I'm gonna use these ones from Claire's that have got butterflies on them I wouldn't have used these particularly when I was younger I used to just use plain black ones it got to a point though my hair was so heavy I either had to use two or, the one thing that I was known for is I had an absolutely massive one. Literally, I'd put it in my hair, stretch from about here to back here, just this massive snap clip that I would put in my hair to hold it in place, to hold my stupid comb over in place. All right, let's just try and get this now. So I'll just kind of hold it there, put in the clip and snap it shut oh my gosh i'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and i hate it why did i do this so because it was my hair just kind of scraped over i used to then like go to take pictures of myself or i'd get home and i'd realize i'd have like this absolutely massive gap like this because it was my hair trying to get back to where it belonged so i uh i think i'm gonna leave it at that i look pretty terrible i must say um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you're as embarrassed by me as I am because I am so embarrassed by myself. I cannot believe that this is legitimately what I used to do to my hair and face. I, Like I said, I don't claim to be an expert now, but I definitely think it's better than this. Better than what's going on right now. So yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!